Hey, I am Overseer Curtis Johnson of the South Carolina Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International, and we are inviting you to our state conference coming up October 21st through the 24th, right here at the Valley Brook Outreach Baptist Church, 8323 Augusta Road in Pelzer, South Carolina. We are excited about what God is going to do over those four days. It'll be kicking off that Thursday with Bishop Rudolph McKissick, the state bishop of Florida, who's a part of this fellowship, one of, the God, one of God's great preachers in the United States. He'll be with us that He's night. hearing. I mean, that's real cute, but that is so exegetically off, because this is a Roman soldier. He ain't trying to hear what Jesus got to say. That ain't why he put it back home. T touch your neighbor and tell him it's going to get good. Um, it was a capital offense, punishable by death, to assault a Roman soldier. So this disciple has set himself up through his actions to be killed. What Jesus does by restoring the ear is not only save the man from the destruction of his own choice, but by putting the ear back on, he gets rid of the evidence. There's some stuff that you did you should have died from, but God cleaned up the evidence. There's some choices we made that should have had us crazy, but God cleaned up the evidence. I wish I had about five of y'all who could testify that people have no clue just how jacked up your past really is. I wish I had some real folk who could say if God hadn't cleaned up the evidence, I'd be in jail. I'd be in a grave. I'd be in a mental institution. I'd be on Prozac somewhere. I wish you turned turn to somebody and tell them if you knew my past, you'd know I wouldn't have a right to be here. If you you knew what I'd done, you wouldn't want to sit by me. But the reason I shout like I shout and dance like I dance is because when I made a bad choice, he cleaned up the habit. And then on Friday night, October 22nd, our international presiding bishop is going to be here with us, Paul Sylvester Morton himself. And we are excited that he's going to be visiting our state once again. Is there anybody? Is there anybody you feel like I feel? Yes, stop blaming it on mama. Stop blaming it on daddy. Stop blaming it on your color. Stop blaming it on your community. The Bible said if you follow the prescription, just be strong. I know the devil messes with you, but be strong. Be courageous. Very courageous. When the devil is messing with you, don't go to the right. Don't go to the left. But stay in the way. Then God said, you will make your way prosperous. Won't it make a way out of no way? Won't it open the door where there is no Lord? We are excited that he's going to be visiting our state once again as a symbol of the things that God is getting ready to do right here in our state by rebuilding and renewing and strengthening the South Carolina Fellowship. On Saturday morning, we'll have workshops and classes that will be designed to help individuals build their lives and grow into the knowledge of God. There will be morning glory. At a 9 o'clock session, I will be preaching. At 12 o'clock, the regional bishop, W. O'Shea Granger, is going to be here to minister, and we'll have workshops and classes in between. And then on that Sunday, October 24th at 6 p.m. is the Youth Explosion, an incredible opportunity for young people all over the state of South Carolina to come together just to worship their God, to learn, uh, to develop new relationships and friends, to set an environment where absolutely lives are going to be changed. We are excited about what God is going to do in this South Carolina Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship State Convention because we're going to experience more of the glory. You don't want to miss it.